Hello, my name is Anthony Liu, and today I will be showing you how to achieve split screen in Flash using an open source application known as Virtual Camera 2, which I created by upgrading the original virtual camera by Brian Hasey. So, special thank you to him. You can use for all types of animations, including video games. And oh! Normally within Flash you would not be able to see anything outside of the workspace. With the virtual camera however, anything directly above or below the camera is projected onto the workspace. You can also alter the width and the height of the projection. You can also alter the X offset and Y offset of the projection. As for the original virtual camera, any scaling and rotation that you apply to the camera will also affect the image that it projects. You can have as many extra cameras as your imagination allows. You can also apply filters to every single one of them, so that they each project images with different effects. Now, what happens when we have two cameras intersecting over the workspace? Does it matter? And the answer, of course, is no. The cameras will simply treat each other as though they are not there. What you need to be careful of, however, is making sure that the areas of projection do not overlap, otherwise the views might freeze. After downloading and unzipping the files, what you want to do is copy all three action script files to the same folder as your project. Then go to the text file, copy all of the text into the folder your first frame of your animation. We'll create a separate layer for our views. And as for creating the symbol itself, create a movie clip, call it Vert Ecamm 2, and export it to action scripts. Now, within the movie clip itself, we want to create a rectangle with dimensions 550 pixels by 400 pixels. Make sure it's centered around the origin. Now, anything else you add, such as a bitmap or a green rectangle, is entirely up to you. Not that it really matters because you won't really see the view during the animation. Let's zoom out a bit. Position a camera directly above the Earth. Bring it in. Call it Cam 1. So we can access its properties using Action Script. Set its height of projection to 200 as we don't want it to cut the whole screen. And that's the result. Now, we want the first camera to follow one of the objects, say one of the UFOs, and we're going to create a second camera, but we're going to be doing it using action script only. First two arguments, X and Y coordinates, they don't really matter because you're going to be following the UFO. The next two, the X and Y offset of projection, the two after that, the width and height of projection, and the last one is just the object you're going to be following. Now, one of the objects on the screen which the camera is following is suddenly destroyed, and will simply stop there, whilst the other camera continues to follow the other UFO. Fortunately, you can't quite see it because I was a bit lazy and I forgot to extend the background. Don't make my mistake. Well, that brings me to the end of the first part of my tutorial. Next time I will be showing you how to tween and add special effects to views. I will also be showing you how to cache objects, well rather movie clips as bitmaps, and how to add movie clip buttons, which are still functional when views are active. 